two-speed ECM for Energy Saver 2250 and Stealth Pro 2.5 models. This wiring guide will show you how to wire an Energy Saver 2250 or Stealth Pro 2.5 model. For this installation, you will need the following items. A Phillips and flat blade screwdriver, wire cutters, wire strippers, black electrical tape, two wire Romex, a high low off switch, and an eight hour timer. Important, wiring diagrams are for examples only. Wiring should be done by a licensed electrician following local building and electrical codes and or NEC guidelines. If you are installing this fan unit in new construction, please note that if use of arc fault breakers are 100% implemented in the home, or if the fan is being installed in a wet area such as a bathroom, you may be required to wire a dedicated circuit for the fan. Note that the fan came pre-wired to a power cord for testing purposes before installation. If you would like to hardwire the fan, or if it is required by the local building codes, please follow the wiring instructions in this video. Let's begin at the motor head and remove the power cord from the fan. First, remove the junction box cover. With the junction box cover removed, remove each wire nut and separate the wires. Remove the ground wire of the power cord by unscrewing the ground screw. Remove the power cord by removing the power cord strain relief connector in the back of the junction box. If the connector is difficult to remove, you may need to use a pair of pliers. Once removed, reinstall the ground screw and the motor ground wire in the junction box. Using wire cutters, cut the ground wire in half. This will allow you to ground the motor and wall switches to the junction box in the fan. Now strip both sides of the ground wire. Knock out one of the other holes in the junction box. Install the included Romex connectors in the two open junction box holes. Push the two wire Romex from the power source through the Romex connector on the left of the junction box. Push the two wire Romex from the timer and the two wire Romex from the switch through the Romex connector on the back of the junction box. Cut the sheathing off each of the Romex wires. Cut the bare copper wires to the appropriate length. Using a wire nut, tie the two ground wires together with the bare copper wires from the Romex. Grab the white wire from the power source Romex and the white wire from the timer Romex and cut them to the appropriate length and strip them.
Using a wire nut, tie the white wires from the power source Romex and timer Romex to the white wire from the motor. Grab the black wire from the power source Romex and the black wire from the timer Romex and cut them to the appropriate length and strip them. Using a wire nut, tie the black wires from the power source Romex and timer Romex to the black striped wire from the motor. Using black electrical tape, tape the white wire from the switch Romex. We are taping this wire to indicate that the white wire is carrying power. Grab the black wire from the switch Romex and cut it to the appropriate length and strip the wire. Using a wire nut, tie the black wire from the switch Romex to the yellow wire from the motor. Grab the taped white wire from the switch Romex and cut it to the appropriate length and strip the wire. Using a wire nut, tie the taped white wire from the switch Romex to the red wire from the motor. Make sure all wire nuts are tight and secure. Once complete, reinstall the junction box cover. Now let's move to the wall switch. After running the two wire timer Romex and the two wire switch Romex from the fan head into the two gang wall box, cut the sheathing off of the Romex. Cut the bare copper ground wires to the appropriate length. Cut a small piece of bare copper wire and using a wire nut, tie the green ground wire from the timer to the three bare copper wires. Using black electrical tape, tape the white wire from the switch to wire Romex. This taped white wire will be used for low speed. Using a wire nut, tie the white wire from the timer to the white wire from the two wire timer Romex. Using a wire nut, tie the black wire from the timer to the black wire from the two wire timer Romex. Make sure all wire nuts are tight and secure. Carefully push the wires back into the wall box and install the timer using the included mounting screws. Using the pliers, create a loop on the remaining bare copper ground wire. Attach the bare copper wire to the green screw on the switch and securely tighten the screw. Strip the red wire from the timer and connect it to the top left gold screw on the switch. Strip the taped white wire and connect it to the top right gold screw on the switch.
Cut the remaining black wire to the appropriate length, strip the wire, and connect it to the bottom right gold screw on the switch. Now that the wiring is complete, carefully push the wires back into the wall box and install the switch with the attached mounting screws. Using the included wall plate screws, install the QuietCool wall plate. Now that the install is complete, turn the power on at the electrical panel. Operating the timer is very simple. Pressing the button on the front of the timer will set the fan to one hour. Pressing the button a second time will move to two hours. Pressing the button a third time will move to four hours. And pressing the button a fourth time will move to eight hours. Holding the fan will put the fan into an indefinite hold and the fan will run until you turn it off. To operate the high-low off switch, simply press the top of the button all the way to put the fan in high speed. Press the bottom button all the way to put the fan on low speed. From here, a slight press of the top button will put the switch in the middle position which will turn the fan off, regardless of the timer setting. Remember, you must select timer setting to activate the high-low off switch. To turn off the fan in any setting, simply cycle through the time settings until the timer lights turn off. 